1979, Synergy, a.k.a. American electronic musician Larry Fast, released his fourth album, Games, and from it, the track Delta II. G. Okay, uh, da -na 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 there, and then da -na 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 over that. A dropping to F momentarily. Okay, I think I'm hearing three layers um, on, on synthesizer. I'm hearing kind of like a bass. I'm hearing that that more uh, that rhythmic element. Ba 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 ba. Like four uh, four four times per bar every and and then and then the um, overriding melodic synth. I love it when these sounds just kind of open up and get more frosty and airy like this. Definitely more of a new wave feel on this track than on the preceding album. It's kind of like, it almost kind of like sounds like uh, something Devo could have done on the um, Freedom of Choice album. Uh, just without the vocals, of course. Really some uh, jerky, jarring syncopation on this in the rhythmic element. Oh, I really like how that sound just opened up. like a envelope sound that <laughs> at any given time we've got like four sounds going on it like try and like like peel them apart from one another And then we'll drop out, and we got that kind of like a uh, spirally sound. That sound uh, reminds me of the sound used on Golden Goose by Todd Rundgren on the Healing album. Yeah, don't it, don't it, don't it, don't it. It's probably the same keyboard, same setting, same buttons, knobs, whatever. Same uh, basic cadence as before, but a different progression now, like a, a, an ascent. I love the layers we've got going here. Yeah, we've got that frosty uh, uh, sound that's kind of jumping around in the background uh, amid the, the more frontal uh, mid-range tone. Notice that sound in the background. That one. Out that one keyboard that's playing at twice the speed as the others. It's almost like like one keyboard's playing in, in, in eight, like like doing like eight notes per bar. One's doing four. One's doing like one every sixteen, maybe just. It's all just 
kind of coming undone right now. This would be kind of like one of those thaw moments on a dance. If they were to play this on a dance floor, there would be all this like fast brisk dancing, and then there would be this part where people are just kind of like zoning out into the strobe lights. Of unexpectedness right there. Did I like like duck type sound? Up, drop there. I think this might be one of my favorite passages because they, they take the 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 uh, structure that we were hearing early in the track and they move it up to C and and, and I love that 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 just the the tonal color of the particular sound that's that's accenting this. Tornado got kind of like an envelope on it. And then again, I love that sound too. That wah, 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 kind of a Newman esque type sound, like something you could have heard like on replicas. Yeah, kind of like uh, something you could have heard on I Nearly Married a Human, yeah, or When the Machines Rock. I love those sustained sounds that are coming out of my uh, right speaker here amid this part. Sparkling keyboards. I think I'm hearing a C major seventh tonality. I'm, I think I'm hearing a B in this. Oh, in the end, and in the end, th th then there was two, then there was one, then there was two, there was that synth bass, that bum, 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 and, and, and that, that sustained kind of steamy sound behind it. And then the bass subsided, and there was just that steamy sound to the fade out. Yeah. That was Delta Two by Synergy off um, his 1979 release, Games. Let's hear another track from the album, Delta One. More of a space disco vibe to this one. Uh, this calls for something slightly cooler. There. up here or are we just kind of chilling out? Let's try this. Yeah. F. Uh, 
um, with an emphasis, na, uh, na, na, major, a major sound thrown in from that sound that's coming out of my right speaker here. <laughs> Yeah, it's like F, E. Okay, I love the mix of sounds we got going here. We got, um, we got, let's see that. No, no, no. Kind of like a cool, thawing type sound. We got that, that deep, low, blah, blah, blah. And then we got that wah. You hear that kind of like vocoderized sound that the wah, the wah. <laughs> I was about to say, it almost sounded like a synthesized version of a talk box type sound. Okay, now that is going to be the earworm of the track. I'll, I'll call it right there. It's very enveloped, I can tell that. I'm really probing into these sounds more than I ever have, uh, like in that 21 years I've, I've known this. Um, I'm thinking, I, the sounds are, are the, the sounds that you hear on Let's Go by the Cars at the beginning, like the wah, the wah, the wah, eh, 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 wah. I guess that, that's an envelope, or um, the sound at the beginning of My Tulpa by Magazine. That's an envelope. Um, and I think we're hearing an, like like that, that enveloped. Okay, not here. We're hearing a bit more of an icier tone here. Well, we're hearing two of them. There, that, that, that. a pipey sound here. I like it. Kind of, kind of, or uh, like a flute type sound. Something that Mike Oldfield might, might have used around this time. my left speaker amid that frostier kind of more thicker sound I wonder what kind of clubs played this back in the day Definitely would have had me out on the floor. That envelope sound again. That melody, that's the ultimate era of the track. That's that's the chorus basically. I love how it resolves on that F major seven. A 
basically goes um, like the um, E, E flat, and then um, C, and back to F major, something like that. G minor. is so basic right here it's almost kind of like boom 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 it's i i wonder if he um and the, the this seems to have real drums on it at least during parts of it and the only person i guess he plays them i don't uh reckon that drums are one of larry fast's primary instruments but it sounds like something that just about anyone it's it's this right here in, in this section anyway sounds like a pattern just about anyone could have played <laughs> It would have been interesting if, if they had thought of like gating the drums at, at this early on, a little bit before that was developed. But if the drums had a bit more, if, if the downbeat had a bit more echo on it, like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> those kind of alien type mouth sounds that we were hearing on the prior album chords uh i think could be heard on on at least one of the tracks that i did months ago by synergy from that album <laughs> Aliens of Land, once again. The, the synthesizer that's that's emphasizing the, the major seven, the E, the no, 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 it seems to be kind of like a 1979 era synthetic equivalent of like a 60s organ type sound like like a like a farfisa <laughs> Sounds like an ebo, that sound that just came in that. The melody that that highest of keyboards is fleshing out that na 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 that. I love how that one instrument is is like is doing those bends, those kind of like. Bendy on guitar strings type of type of type of feel. <laughs> Hear that sound? Nah, wah, 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 wah. And those really high sparkling sounds are just kind of like oozing out the background of it. That no, like.
persistent beat there toward the end. Yes, yeah, Synergy, Delta 1, and before that, Delta 2. The Deltas are, are just kind of out of order on this album, yeah. Uh, Delta 2, the first track on side 1 of games, and Delta, Delta 1, the third track on side 1 of the 1979 Passport Records release, Games. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, recorded entirely by uh, Larry Fast and um, produced... And Larry Fast was on a lot of great albums during the late 1970s, and in addition to his own career um, under the moniker Synergy, and this has got a great cover too that completely conjures up the music inside all these green neon rays just forming this big kind of light extravaganza, and uh, yeah. Anyway, and then, and then on the flip side, rings, rings that are uh, crossing a bridge. Yeah, just beautiful. Amid kind of like this sunset skyline type background. Yeah. For more Rubies and Sapphires from Synergy's Games album, see the directory of albums from 1979. Linked in the description below for Red Hot Tracks and Purples from more than 1,056 albums is the current count on there. Yes. A uh, great year uh, across the musical spectrum around the world. Yeah. Like and subscribe, follow me on social media, share the video, and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the two tracks we just heard the layers, the tonal colors, the melodies, the just <clears throat> mixture of light and sound and the beauty of it all, the luminosity, the neon sparkle of it all. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most air-traveled Trimax most, signing off. <laughs>